It's open. Hey, hey how you doing? Hi. We called. Last night we were going to come over, but then a desk clerk said that you were sleeping. Well, I'm glad you're here now. Where'd all these, uh, these baskets come from? Yeah, I knew that Max was a very gracious hotel manager, but I think he went a little bonkers. I guess you won't be needing this. Yeah. Look, Chick, there is something I need, and only you and Megan can help me. I'll take care of everything, Mrs. Buchanan. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Excuse me. As usual, the Buchanans aren't satisfied with a private, quiet little gathering. We have two reasons to celebrate this evening, Carlo. Vicky was exonerated, and her release means that this entire nightmare is finally over. She killed my son. In self-defense, Johnny was completely out of control. He told Nikki Smith that he would kill anyone who tried to keep him from taking her away. Carlo, accept this fact. And this nightmare will be over for you as well. Spoken like a real Buchanan. And again, you're wrong. I'll never accept the judge's decision. The fact is, a member of the Buchanan family has gotten away with murder. All the time I've known you, I've never seen you speechless. Uh, you're the last person I expected to see. With all the wild accusations that Vicky made in the courtroom and everything else. Yeah. Well, you know, I figured, uh, I figured that we've been through a lot, Gabrielle, a lot of tough times and bizarre times. And we've somehow always remained friends. You're here as a friend? Tina. I'll tell you how much that means to me. Here's what to do when you don't find the rainbows in this time. Here's where you go when it looks like the rain won't win. Don't cry. Quite a history together, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We survived all the trials and tribulations because we stuck together. I'll never forget. You could have left the jungle and gone back to Buenos Aires, but you were brave and you, you delivered my baby, didn't you? Then I remember the time we went to prison. And then when we were in the halfway house together. Yeah. That was uh, probably one of the hardest parts. But we helped each other out, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we did. I do remember when everybody was turning against me. You were the only one who remained my friend. Well, I tried, Gabrielle. But we have, uh, we have had some rough spots. Yeah, but I think everybody does. Oh. Yeah, rough spots like, uh... Everybody has rough spots like, like the time that you blackmailed me to get me to do Michael Grant's dirty work. Mm -hmm. Well, that wasn't entirely my fault. Y you were desperate to get your hands on the crown jewels of Mandora. <laughs> Gabrielle, what about the time that you went after Cord? Well, we sorted out that misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Yeah. <laughs> well, you and Cord were separated. Cord and I became closer friends. I was still grieving Max's death. No, you knew. You knew that I wanted to get back with Cord. No, Tina, I knew that you were quite happy with the separation. Ah, Gabrielle, don't... Don't rewrite the history, okay? Please. So that's why you're here. You just wanted to get the last word in, didn't you? No, Gabrielle, the reason that I came here is because I don't think that you should turn your back on a friendship that has lasted as long as ours has and has been through as much adversity as ours has without... without giving it every chance. I agree. You know, 
in the last few years, I've been through a lot, and I've, uh, I've changed. You haven't. I disagree. I think I mm. have. Well, you're wrong. All these years, people tell me, they tell me not to trust you, and I try to listen to them, but then somehow I get... I get convinced by you that that these people don't understand, that, that they're, they're wrong, that, that, that they just don't understand why you're doing what you're doing. Some of them were wrong. No, no, Gabrielle. I'm so tired. I am so tired of these lies. I'm tired of lying for you. I'm tired of lying about you. I'm tired of... I'm tired of you lying to me. Gabrielle. I've taken a lot from you. And that's nobody's fault but my own. But yesterday, when I was at that hearing, and I heard what you did, I just, I just gotta, I gotta set the record straight with you once and for all. How dare you accuse somebody else of getting away with murder? I never murdered anyone. Giving the order to kill is the same as pulling the trigger. Vicky would be dead now if she hadn't caught on to your vicious scheme. What you did to her was unforgivable. She killed my son. She risked her life to save her sister, her, her identity, her very own soul. She let Nikki Smith take over so that she could save Tina from your son. Oh, Tina didn't have to be saved. Johnny loved her. He posed no threat to her, Renee. Oh, so that's why he went to Landfair with a loaded gun? Why he knocked her unconscious so he could kidnap her? He was misunderstood, Renee. No, misunderstood. Carlo. I can see that you're not going to accept the court's ruling as justice, and I know that nothing that I say will make any difference. But I do want you to understand one thing. I really know it must be devastating to lose a child, and I am genuinely sorry that you lost John. Are you? <laughs> yes, I am. But it's done, it's over with, and you can't change that. Uh, Renee, Please, let it go, Renee, Carlo. Renee, Renee, how could you ask that of me? I'm asking you not to let your bitterness run your life. You can't live that way. It will eventually destroy you. If I could spend the rest of my life with you, there would never ever oh, be Carla, another problem. Oh, Carla, would... you and Johnny are exactly alike. He couldn't accept things the way they were. He kept believing that he could control them with force, with reason. Carlo, stop believing that. Let it all go before it kills you, too. You know what's killing me? That Vicky Buchanan stole my son from me. And the courts will never let her pay for it. No, no, Renee. There's no goodbye. I'm staying. I'll be in Landview as long as the Buchanans. If for only one reason, to be a constant reminder of the life they took. The blood on their hands. So good. Well, maybe you'll cheer me up. What have you uh, learned about Tony Ballone? All right, Hunter, I know that you're used to being independent, but it's not going to be so bad. Once you learn how to use your crutches, you're going to be walking and, and taking care of yourself in no time. Yeah, and meanwhile, we'll uh, take care of your errands and stuff for you. Do everything you need. Uh, you won't even have to lift a toe, pal. <clears throat> Is that any way to treat a faithful servant? Huh? Don't say that. What did I say? I said serve So where did all these fruit baskets come from? Look, that doesn't matter, guys. Just get me out of here. Why? Look, it's bad enough I missed my flight to L.A. three times. Well, that wasn't exactly your fault the first time. I asked you to stay the second time. Carlos Goons dragged you away, and the third... What are you, you, uh, go ahead, enjoy yourself. Uh, and the third time, you got brutally attacked by a broom at Annie's place. You know, this kind of thing will happen just when you think you're safe. I hate that. Do you feel better now? No. Great. 
Look, guys, just get me out of here, okay? Okay, okay. So what, do you have a doctor's appointment? No, I have a date with my future sanity. I haven't lost my mind yet, but if you don't get me downstairs into a cab and over the waterside in fast, I'm going to be a raving lunatic in no wait, time. Wait, wait, wait. Take it easy. If you're unhappy about something here, I'm sure we can talk to Max. He'll settle it all. No, look, it's not the hotel, Megan. Well, is it uh, Carlos, guys? Are they after look, you? Guys, just don't ask, all right? Let's just get out of here. Fine. 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 Sir, our bath is ready. Nice and hot, just the way we like it. Sir, you don't want your bath to cool. Shall I carry you? No, no. Who the heck is this guy? I have no idea. He just came in, okay? I can't get him to leave. You gotta be kidding me. Wait, this is Lester. Well, no, who? No, it's not. Who is yes, Lester? Yes, it is. Lester, Lester is the Guthrie family's loyal and devoted servant. What? Yes, Lester, this is Jake Harrison. I'm Megan Gordon. <sighs> oh, Miss Gordon. A pleasure, a real pleasure. Uh, sir. Lester, will you just give us a moment or two, okay? I'll be in right with you. Oh, very well, sir. And I thought you didn't want to have anything to do with your family's fortune. I didn't. I don't. Lester's very determined. Once he gets an idea in his head. Wait, 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 wait. Hunter Guthrie, like in Guthrie International? Like in business machines and computers? Fortune 500, that? Guthrie? You know about the Fortune 500? Uh, yeah, of course, I do. Lester, look. Why don't you go and check the bath, okay? I'll be right in, I promise. Come on, guys, quick! Nobody can get out of a locked room faster than left can. We only got about ten seconds. Let's go, let's go, come on, come on, get out! So, how's little Stevie? Little Stevie, he's huge. Uh -huh. How are you doing? Uh -huh. And what are you doing, Tony? Uh, I'm tending bar. I know, it keeps me busy. What could I say? What about Sacred Heart? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Well, we sure miss you at the Outlook House. It seems like ages since you've even stopped by to see a party. I'm going to stop by, I promise. Good. So, what did you want to see me about? I need a favor. Sure, Tony, anything. I'd like you to run a drug analysis. Not on a person, I mean on a drug. I mean, you want to know the contents of a drug? Yeah, and I was hoping you could run it through the lab at the hospital. If it's a big deal, I understand oh, that I can go it. it's not a big deal. I'll be happy to do it. You have a kid with a drug problem? No, it's uh, it's not a kid. It's somebody with a problem, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here you go. All right, well, it shouldn't take me too long. I'll run it over to the lab right now, okay? Thanks. Okay, uh, one other thing. This is just between you and me, okay? Sure. Oh. hearing your testimony. I kept thinking that, that I was misunderstanding something, but then every time I think about it now, every time I look at it, I see that you just, that you were willing to destroy my life to protect your own. Tina, I did not help Johnny try to take away your child. Why would I want to do that to you? I don't know why. I don't know your motives. I suppose if I did, I wouldn't understand them. I wouldn't understand that. But you do understand what it's like to act out of fear. To lie, to save your own self. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I was a champion at that, but I've changed. I, I, I think that's wrong now. Not everything that John Russell said in that courtroom yesterday was true. Gabrielle, I heard the tape. I heard the tape. I heard Johnny say that you had double-crossed him. What do you think? What is he talking about? How should I know? The man was nearly dead. I don't know what he was doing. I, I went along with it because I was terrified about what he would do next. You know, Vicky. Vicky was trying to save me. And, and when she couldn't walk up the stairs, when she couldn't walk up the stairs, she let Nikki Smith take over because she, because she loved me that much. She was willing to take that risk. I think about that. I think about that, and then I think about you. I think about what you did with Vicky, how you used her, how you cozied up to her, how you, how you offered to help her when she got when she had her stroke and how you... How you helped with my wedding shower. Gabrielle, why? 
Why? Why would you do this? Why? Did, did Johnny give you enough cash so that you would you would drive me out of Landview so that you would take my 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 marriage and, and, and drive a wedge between court and me so that you would take this baby away from me, Gabrielle? I don't understand. That is not what happened, Tina. I swear to you, that's not the way it went. You know, I don't know what happened between us that would make you want to destroy my life. I really don't. Good to see you up and about. Yeah, but you gotta be careful with that soft cast. I know I had one once, and it's better than a big block of plaster, but sometimes you gotta you be... You guys, will you please stop being so solicitous? He's having a bad day. He's not really himself solicitous. Yes, Master Hunter is a fugitive from gracious living. See, he's being pursued relentlessly by a very tidy man who looks suspiciously like the valet. Tony, Tony, I got the guy from the supply company on the phone, and he is turning my hair gray. Would you go talk to him, please? You respond to somebody with a deep voice. I'll take you know care of it, one. Hi, Good Hunter. Thing. How are you doing? How is the foot? It's... Oh, oh, they put you in a soft cast. That's good. That's better than one of those plaster ones. But you know that you got to... Thank you. you got to be real careful with the foot. That's you right. don't know Thank that. You, Thank you, Wanda. You know, I cannot tell you how grateful I am to you that you did not sue the pants off us for having that broom out there where you could trip Wanda, over it. Wanda, I could never do that, okay? Oh, Oh, I love this fellow. <laughs> could I, could I get you something to eat? Like, how about a nice, a beautiful dish of waffles on the house? Yeah. Oh. That's the real reason I came to Landview and stayed here. Oh. I love some. <laughs> I'm gonna go get them. No, 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 no. You sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, and uh, watch, watch the foot. Take a, take a load off you. She worked very hard today. You talk to Hunter. <clears throat> Thanks, partner. Thank you. So, what, what is this all about? What is this fugitive stuff? Oh, it's very, very, very hush hush information. Here. No, no, give him a break. What? Well, Hunter has been living incognito, actually. How come? Well, have you ever heard of Guthrie International? Guthrie International, sure, then. Guthrie International. Guthrie, as in Hunter. Gu Bingo. Bingo. How did you blow your cover? Well, wh why did you have a cover? Are you afraid of getting kidnapped? I've been trying to steer clear of my parents and their bank accounts. See, what happened was that when I went to the hospital to have this leg set, I had to fill out all kinds of forms, including next of kin. Mm -hmm. And the insurance people made a mistake, and instead of calling my number, they called my parents' house. Next thing I knew, they sent Lester down. Lester. The very tidy man who oh. looks, looks like, like a ballet. ballet. Pardon me. Along with Lester, they sent enough fruit to feed all of Landview for a month. No, that doesn't sound so bad to me if you're looking for sympathy. Look, I'm not looking for anything but a way out, Andy. I want to go to the Waterside Inn. There's only so many hotels in this town, Hunter. Pretty soon your manservant is going to find you, you know? Well, I'll just register under an assumed name. Oh, like Thank what? You. Oh, I got it. Hang on. It's got to be something that will go unnoticed. Guthrie Hunter. <laughs> Guys, joke all you want, okay? It's not funny. I have to get away from them. But what I, I don't understand is you've got this family that's loaded to the gills. You've got them dumping all this attention on you and concern. And fruit, don't forget the fruit. And fruit, <laughs> and all this fruit, and still you're running around like your life's at stake here. Yeah, it is. Well, if the priest does have something on the lady, He's playing it pretty close to the vestment. What Tony Vallone has is great powers of persuasion, especially when it comes to Gabrielle. He uh, still thinks he can uh, save her soul, and she still thinks that he's her escape hatch to salvation. As long as he keeps putting this pressure on her to confess, he poses a threat to me. You want me to offer a priest? No. I want you to watch him. If he goes to see her, tell me. If he goes to anyone, tell me. Anyone? Anyone. I want every move he makes reported to me. The way he's leaning on Gabrielle, he knows something. And whatever he knows, I don't want it to come back to haunt me. Gotcha. You're a good man, Ralph. I know you won't let me down. I'm... Uh, Sure, you won't fail me at all on this. Just watch the guy. Like a hawk. You got it. Dina, I 
never meant to hurt you in any way. No? Well, you were willing to work with Johnny D. But I didn't. I didn't help him, and if you heard the tape, you know that. You tried. You tried. Tina, I, I didn't have a choice. He was pressuring me. Max was walking out on me. I was all alone. I didn't have anywhere else to turn. You did? You had me to turn to? I would have listened to you. I would have, I would have helped you. But no, Gabrielle, you took everything in our friendship. You took the history and the faith, and you, you used it against me. You conspired with a maniac who wanted to take my child, my child, away from me. And, th and that wasn't enough. You, you helped Carlo bring out Nicky Smith, and you tried to help him kill Megan. I didn't know that's what he wanted to don't. do. I don't want to hear it. Don't. No, no, don't you. Don't you make my life any worse than it already is. I'm going to do whatever I can to stay out of prison. I'll do whatever it takes not to be separated from my, from my son. Do you understand? And don't you go around telling everybody that I worked with Johnny because I didn't. I have a right to make up for my own mistakes. Gabrielle, I'm afraid you're going to get what you deserve. Oh, and this high and mighty attitude of yours. You're no better off than I am. No, you started out the same way. You connived and manipulated to get where you are. You lied and you, you skied on it. You put her... No. She's done that a long time ago. Gabrielle. The door was open. Well, hello, Ray. What do you want? I have a warrant for your arrest. <laughs> what? what for? Aggravated assault, criminal conspiracy, and attempted murder. Is Al upstairs? No. He's with my mother. Gabrielle, I have to take you downtown. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, the court will provide you with You obviously split with your family because they didn't serve you enough waffles, right? <laughs> much as it's difficult for me to tear myself away from somebody who is obviously enjoying my waffles as much as you are, I have to go and run some uh, some business errands, and I'll see you later, okay? Great. Bye. Bye, Wanda. Bye. Bye, Wanda. <laughs> so, what's the truth here? Why'd you turn your back on the family fortune? Jake. Well, I just want to know. No, it's okay. Jake, I wanted to make it on my own. Yeah. <clears throat> they wouldn't let me. You know, I'd call up a producer to make a deal, and he'd answer the phone and he'd say, Oh, oh, Mr. Guthrie. Yeah, I've been expecting your call. Maybe we can have lunch on Tuesday or whenever's convenient for you. So? So my parents' friends had already called the guy and said, Make the deal. We'll back it up. Bummer. I hate when that happens. I hate it. <sighs> Look, guys, I wanted to make it on my own. Andy, how would you like it if you were running this place from an ivory tower somewhere? Oh, you never had to turn another hamburger or kick out another drunk. I could live with that. Okay, that's a bad example. Ooh. But Jake, how would you okay. like it if your name was on the door, but you had other people running all the, the, the errands and doing all the legwork for you? I get all the credit? Yeah. I get all the money? Yeah. It's fine with me. <laughs> It's another bad example. All right, you guys. <laughs> what I'm just trying to say here is if he lets his parents continue to make all of his connections for him, when he becomes successful, he won't know whether it's due to his own talent or their contacts. And their money. Yeah, I mean, this has been happening ever since I've known Hunter. Every time he seems to break away, they find him. And they force money on him. Yeah. 
Okay, forget it. <laughs> we're just busting your chops. Take it easy, Hunter. I, we can't exactly sympathize with you because we've never been in that situation, but we can not understand, right? Andy? Oh, Guthrie International. It's, I'm just, I'm really, I'm kidding. We do. We understand. Sure we do. So you see why I have to get away from Lester? See, wherever Hunter goes, Lester goes. And Lester is the Guthrie's eyes and ears. So can you guys give me a hand and help me out? Sure. Oh, sure. <laughs> Great. Listen, thanks for smuggling me out of the Buchanan Palace. I can make it over the waterside in on my own. Uh, I'll just call you when I get room number. <clears throat> Wait a minute, you're not going anywhere. How's it going? What can I get you? Coffee. Coffee, please. You got it. Boy, the mayor's lawyer sure hung that Gabrielle Holden broad out that dry, huh? Milk? No. Thanks. Yeah, I said she was in real tight with that, uh, what's his name? Johnny D. Yeah, doing his bidding. Sugar? Uh-uh. So what do you think? Was she in cahoots with D or what? How am I supposed to know what Gabrielle Holden's doing, huh? Don't I have problems on my own? I don't understand why you even had to go see her, Tina. Court, I, I couldn't just walk out on a friendship like that. Even though you kept getting the short end of the stick. You know, I just, I, I couldn't believe that Gabrielle would actually do those things. I guess I kept thinking that, that it would be easier for me to find a, a reason to, to forgive her than it would be to accept that she would do those things to well, us. I, you know, I wish I had been there with you, Tina, because I would have made the whole thing real simple for you. All right, look, I'm sorry. I. I know how difficult it is to lose a friend. Yeah. Especially this way. I mean, to be betrayed like that. And you know, uh, well, I walked in there and, and I thought I was going to, I was going to go in there and try and forgive her. And then I walked in and as soon as she started talking, I could tell that she hadn't changed, that she was never going to change. I would never be able to forgive her. You know, the one that I'm really concerned about, though, is Al. Hmm. I just imagine what's going on in that little boy's head right about now. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe we could do something nice for him. Maybe we could take CJ and Al and you and, and, and I, we could all go for a weekend together or something? I think that would be a something? good idea. I think that would be great. Okay. In fact, I'm sure Max could use a breather. Uh, man, the best thing that could happen for little Al right now is for his daddy to get full custody. Oh, poor Gabrielle. I mean, she's facing a prison sentence and losing her son. Look, I, I think I've had enough talk about Gabrielle for one day. Do you mind? We just change the subject. <laughs> I know. Good. You know, actually, I think we need to start to get revved up about this celebration that Vicky and Clint are going to have tonight. Yeah, I'm real excited about that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's about Mr. Roberts. Uh, you have a call from the Banner. They say it's an emergency. Thanks. Cross your fingers. On what basis are you making these charges? Probable cause, Mr. Decatur. We have the mayor's testimony, Jake Harrison's. We'll give you a full discovery at the bail hearing. This is malicious prosecution, and I'll be glad to bring that up in court. There's been a thorough police investigation, and my office is prepared to go to court on this and win. So instead of waving red flags at me, why don't you earn your fee by advising your client of her situation? Oh, I didn't do anything wrong. The fact remains that you don't have one shred of physical evidence against her. Don't sell yourself up the river to protect Carlo Hesser. Unless your attorney is advising you to tell the complete truth, he's doing you a great disservice. Now, if you want to harass my client, you do it in open court where every word you say goes on the record. And just so this won't come as a shock, I'm recommending that bail be set at the maximum. That's one million dollars. Evan. That's ridiculous. Mrs. Holden has ties in this community. She has a family here. She has a son here. Here for the hearing. Oh, God, is money? That's my recommendation. Bail or jail. Take it or leave it. You broke your foot here, so you're going to stay here until it's mended. Oh, okay. And what am I going to do? Sleep on the bar? No, there's a vacant apartment upstairs, and if you can make it up a flight of stairs, you can stay there as long as you'd like. I think I can make one flight. Good. 
Yeah. That way, it'll be easier for us to see you here instead of across town at the water side. And you'll save yourself a bundle, you know. Well, I mean, you're going to be turning down the family millions. You've got to be frugal with what's left, right? Yeah, I can't argue with that. Right, and I will be across the hall. You'll have Tony upstairs. They have Wanda down here all day. What do you need that Lester person for anyway, right? Take the apartment. Yeah, I'd be a dope if I passed up this offer, right? Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, if I'd been on that first plane. Yeah. <laughs> Think I'm going to take any advice you have to offer? Come on, Andy, where do I sign? Okay. I hope you're not taking those waffles off the menu anytime soon. What? What do you think? I'm crazy? Okay. They stay, I stay. Tony? Did you throw What'd you find out about that drug? Well, I had the lab run a test and then I had them run it again because I couldn't believe what they found. What did they find? This drug is almost identical to the drug that Michael Grand gave me. Tony, where did you find this? That was a good show you put on for Evan Decatur. Yeah. Made it sound like a piece of cake, didn't I? You're getting a guilty verdict. I don't think that'll be so easy. Evan is right. There's no evidence against her. Well, we got Vicky's testimony, Bo Buchanan, Jake Harrison. You think the jury will believe Gabrielle instead of them? Decatur will tear him apart on the stand. I want a solid case. I want evidence. Well, we got some time before the trial. The department's working around the clock. I'm, I'm sure we'll come up with something sooner or later. Yeah, it better be sooner, Troy. Meanwhile, we've got to really lean on uh, Gabrielle. If she's convinced she'll go to prison while Carlo gets off scot-free, maybe we can get her to talk. Are you going to offer her a deal? Well, I want to see what your people turn up first, but if we can get her to tell what she knows, we can put Carlo Hesser away for a long, long time. He's upstairs with his grandmother. He's fine. He'd better be. Now, Gabrielle, I'd never hurt Julia or your son or you. As a matter of fact, I've been very concerned about you. Oh, is, is that a fact? Yes. Well, you have a funny way of showing it, scaring me half out of my wits in my own home. You're in your home because of me. Thank you for paying my bail, again. But I expect a lot more out of you. Oh, uh, do you, Gabrielle? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I do. You told me that you had Judge Thompson in your pocket so that everything would be just fine. Uh, and then he became Gabrielle. ill, and you told me that you'd find a way to get to Judge Haley, and everything would be fine. But you were just stalling for time, weren't you? And I suppose with these new sentences that they're putting on me, you probably want me to plead guilty to attempted murder. Oh, nonsense. They, they don't have anything on you. Oh, they don't. Don't placate me anymore. I am sick. I'm tired of people manipulating me. I will never believe another word out of your mouth because like everyone else in this town, you have abandoned me. If you think I'm gonna take the fall for you, Carlo, you are very mistaken. If they cart me off to Statesville, my darling man, I'll make sure you're right behind me. So what happened? I gotta go over to the banner, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. All right, that's all right. I, uh, I know you've been extra busy since Clint's been all involved with Vicky and everything. Uh, it's not just that. No, we've got that equipment over there. It's just so old. I mean, every time something goes wrong with it, we have to pirate something from another piece of machinery. Well, I, I thought, I thought that the banner was going to get new equipment. Well, we have. It just hasn't been delivered and installed yet. And, uh, I'm sorry, I really got to go. Uh, try to enjoy lunch enough for the both of us. Okay, I'll try to be back tonight for the party, okay? Well, you better be. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye, sweetheart. And my apartment's right over here if you need anything, okay? Ooh. Here we go. Home to all. Woo! Woo! <laughs> what are you doing in there? Well, I live here. Remember, we decided that as soon as I owned half the building, that there was no point in paying rent to anybody else. We talked about this, remember? Hi, neighbor. I, I forgot. You forgot what? Look, it's no problem. I'm just going to go over to the water side like No, you're not going to go over to the water side. That's just going to find you there. You forgot what? I forgot that you took the apartment. I promised Hunter that he could hide out there. Oh, oh. Look, it's really no big deal, Andy. I'm just going to... No, gonna... enough with the water side, all right? Well, um, 
Well, just ask Tony if you can stay with wait, him. Wait, 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 wait. He could barely make it up this flight of stairs with that foot. How is he going to make it up another flight? She's right. To Tony's? One flight is about my limit. Okay, fine. Then you're going to room with me. Oh, that's a wonderful no, idea. And no, oh, no. oh, you I know what you'll get? Like you will get room service. I will bring you. I'll bring you chicken soup. I'll bring you hot chocolate. I'll bring you the daily newspaper. I'll How bring about you waffles. The, waffles. But I'll bring you waffles every day, every minute, no See, charge. It was a good idea, right? Okay. And I owe you one, don't I? And if you want anything else, I will be downstairs. All you have to do. Knock on the floor with a good foot, with a good foot, and I'll do <laughs> anything that you want. Excuse me. Bye bye. Foot. Okay, bye. Whoa, okay. whoa! Oh no, oh God, I'm sorry. You're all right. Yeah, fine. No, it's just... your brake lights aren't working. Yeah, it's just it's really messy in here. <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't mind the mess. I really appreciate your hospitality. Besides, I'm really tired. Okay, okay, fine. Just, just, just sit down. Um, I really, I wasn't expecting anybody, and. Uh... Look at this. It's really a charming place. It is. You're just, I like it. You, you, you know, you're just saying that so that I don't call this Lester person, aren't you? No. I really love it. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Andy. Uh -huh. Andy. Thank you for being such a good friend. I don't get it, you know? Hunter's got the looks. He's got talent, supposedly. He's loaded. Yeah, I know. No, but I mean, you're here with me. And I'm not fishing for compliments or anything. I'm serious here. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. Why me? He's got everything. What have I got? Everything I want. Some kid with a drug problem had a, got a hold of this, because if he did, he's not going to get what he's looking for. I told Kill you. him. Brenda, I told you. She, it's not a kid. Does this have anything to do with Gabrielle? Tony, is this what she gave Vicky? Brenda, I can't talk to you about it, okay? I know you helped me, and it's not I fair, know, but that's you've all just got to give it to the police. That's I'm all. going to give it to the police, but I can't say anything I about just, it. Not yet. You cannot get yourself in trouble over Gabrielle again. I won't. Tony, it's not like I don't think you're going to do the right thing. I just don't want you to get hurt protecting her. Brenda, I know. You're overreacting. There's no need to panic. I have just been accused of attempted murder. I don't think I'm panicking for no reason. I understand. It's frightening to have a police officer come and read you your rights and escort you off to a police station. It's very frightening to go to a uh, bail hearing and hear the formal reading of the charges against you. But, Gabrielle, I promise you, I guarantee you, they, they have nothing on you. Right. Now, Gabrielle, if the district attorney's office had any substantial evidence, he is obligated by law to give that information to Evan. Now... I told you I'd get you acquitted, and I will. No, you won't. This is just another one of your ploys, to stall for time so you can get yourself off. I'm trying to find a way to save us both. Now, the charges against you are based solely on Vicky's testimony. And Jake Harrison, and probably my own... Oh, no, come on, come on. It's your word against theirs. The word of a convicted felon. That's what Judge Haley calls me. So it's my word against, what, the mayor of Landview? She could be the Queen of England, and it doesn't matter. There isn't any physical evidence. Oh, yes, there is. What about the vial that the drug was in? But they don't have that. And how can you be so sure? Because if they did have it, it would have to be part of the information that uh, they would give to Evan along with the rest of their findings. And they didn't do that. Learn your law, Gabrielle. Have it work for you. No one saw you pour the drug from the vial into champagne. And had they, huh, you would have been arrested and questioned about it already. That vial. That could be a problem. Uh... I was so panicked that I'd get found with it that I threw it into the nearest potted plant. Did anyone see you do it? How should I know? I can't be sure, can I? No, no. No one's uh, stepped forward. So, uh, if the vial hasn't been found by now, it never will. 